Good morning, clan, and welcome to Lake Pleasant here in our brand new travel trailer. You guys have a good night's sleep? Mm -hmm. Bed's comfy? Yeah. Yeah? Um, it's kind of like our little room because if you close the curtains, and then it's all like caved in. Oh. Like, I think the bottom bunk's more caved in because um, Bryce's bunk is on the top, so the ceiling's lower. On gotcha, the gotcha. So is it officially Bryce's bunk? Or just tonight it was Bryce's bunk? I don't know. I kind of like the bottom. Mm, I knew you would. So uh, let's see here. Let's, let's, let's do some milestones here. Sierra was the first person to poop in it. Um, I'm going to go take a shower. I'm going to be the first one to take a shower. Um, I don't know. What other, what other milestones have we had? Has anyone, has anyone stuffed their toes or hit their heads? Or... I hit my head. He's in his head Bryce hit his head on the bunk. Okay. The bunk. Right. <laughs> yep. So we woke up in our trailer. Like, I don't know. It kind of feels a little more like, yeah, this is ours now. Nobody else is with us. You know, usually when we go camping, we have Jack and Christy with us or something and so it doesn't kind of like we just the four of us just woke up as if as if we were here by ourselves <laughs> let's give you guys the official tour of our new travel trailer this is a 30 foot bunkhouse wildcat max trailer by forest river you come in the front door here you have a queen bed for me and tiffany all right sturdy mattress it's got uh sh some sh cabinets on top cabinets on the side Plug in, plug adapters down here to charge your devices, to charge, charge my phone at night, which is nice. It's got a, a separate AC unit just for the front up here. It's a manual, you gotta, gotta turn it on and off right here. Double sliding doors for some privacy, 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 some privacy. Got all our controls here. All our tanks is our battery. It's our uh, fresh water tank. It's our black water tank, which is your poop and your, well, your poop. Got your gray water, which is the drains. And then they have a separate one called the galley, and that is strictly this and the sink, I believe. So the gray water would be my shower, and then the galley, I think, is just this and the other sink. I don't know. I, I need to look at specifically what it is. I didn't get a manual, though, so I can't look that up right now. Uh, sorry, a little bitter still about this whole experience. Now I move into the kitchen, and uh, we've got some cabinets here, some cupboard space, right? Actually. Uh, lipped space, put like cans and boxes here as you can see so it doesn't they don't fly around. So Tiffany's already started getting some stuff loaded in there. All right, so there's our there's our pantry. It's got a, a paper towel rack right here. Some more cabinet space up here. Nice nice size countertop. This is all countertop here, then this covers the, the sink to give us more counter space. And check out this faucet. That's better than the faucet we had. We we just installed a faucet like this in our house. But I mean, like this is the standard faucet. Like that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. Uh, we got a three burner stove, oven. It's all gas powered. We got a range with light and a fan, and a microwave. Eight cubic foot uh, refrigerator with a freezer. This thing's larger than normal. Most trailers only come with like a six cubic foot, I believe. And so that's pretty awesome. Uh, we have a horseshoe uh, dining room table. This is a new thing they're doing. A lot of times it's just the you know the standard booth, the new ones, and the kind of upgraded models come with the horseshoe. Uh, this comes up, and that table actually goes down, and you use these cushions to make a bed. So you can actually make a, a bed here. Uh, not very comfortable, but you know it's good for kids or babies or something like that. Or the guy that you don't really want to stay with you. You're like, yeah, that's the bed. You're going to sleep there. Hopefully he never comes back. This is the one thing I was like, I don't need that. I don't need that at all. It's a 42, 43, whatever that size TV is, 42 inch TV, like, what? Why would you need a TV that big? It's just ridiculous. 32 inch maybe, but I think like a 25 is like the standard. All the other models we saw, it had a TV there and it swiveled, right? So you could watch it from the bedroom or swivel it and watch it out here. But it was like the size of that wall right there, 25 inches maybe, 42, 43 inch. Now this thing comes off, it's on a swivel arm, so you can watch it um, from, from anywhere in here, pretty much. Uh, it's like a fireplace down here, which is kind of cool, check this out. Oh, we don't need power, power's off. Anyways, uh, it does actually generate heat. It puts on a little like light fire show, and it does actually generate heat. It will actually heat up this whole uh, area here. Uh, tons of tons of cabinet space. We got three cabinets up here, we got two down there, and then one on each side of the fireplace. Um, more over here for like towels and dirty clothes and stuff. Another drawer there. And then of course we have a leather pull-out couch. And this isn't like your crappy pull-out couch that you sleep on your mom's bed where you're like, you can feel all the springs and stuff underneath and the bars. This actually has a really nice mattress on it. It just folds open once. 
and then you use the cushion in the back to, to make your bed. I laid on it, I can actually fit on it. It's okay, it's, it's actually a lot, it's a lot nicer than any other couches I've ever slept on. And uh, that's, that's saying a lot. For uh, another air conditioning here, this is the main AC, it's got a thermostat, so it's temperature controlled on that. Um, then you move back here, we have the bunk beds, kids bunk beds. Each bunk bed comes with its own light, a uh, power outlet and a little cubby hole, window, same thing down here, right? Nice, nice, emergency exit there. And then we have this, this is the entertainment zone, uh, deep five disc CD, DVD player, MP3 and Bluetooth. So I can actually hook my phone or iPad and control it from outside and it controls the speakers in here and the speakers outside. So very excited about that. Very excited about that. Next we move into the bathroom and again another another kind of like plus on this one is it has a full shower, right? So this this thing actually opens up and I can actually stand in it and my head doesn't like hit the ground, hit the roof. So that's a plus. Sink, little extra, these are just little, little extras, right? Thing for soap, thing for toothbrushes. A real toilet, this is a porcelain toilet, not a plastic one that can rot and crack. This is like a real toilet, it's, again, another plus. Uh, cabinet space in here, cabinet space over here for towels, a towel rack. Like I said guys, this was the like, wow. We walked in the door and it was like, wow. This has got, this looks really nice. We love the color scheme. We love the aluminum um, accents everywhere on the handles and everything. Uh, it had everything inside and out that we were like, oh that's nice, oh that's nice. That'd be cool to have, that'd be cool to have. It had it all. And then the best part was is it was a, in our price range and I could tow it with my truck. It was a no-brainer, like why wouldn't we get this trailer? And it's the best one we saw for that price. But that's the inside, let's go look at the outside, shall we? So coming on the outside, starting at the front, it has an electric tongue, which everyone says that's a new, that's a must-have nowadays. Save your trouble from trying to crank your trailer down on your truck. Uh, two large propane tanks provided, filled up, which is nice, that's a, that's a bonus. Got some LED lights on the front, light down here on the hitch. Pass-through storage goes all the way through to the other side. That's a large, large storage there. And it's got these special doors, which apparently I can just drop it and it's not gonna, it doesn't hurt. It sounds bad, but it doesn't hurt anything. Uh, we got an electric awning with LED light strip. I'll show you guys that at night when it's all lit up. There's an LED light strip across there, which is funny because uh, Mike Sr. just installed that on his, on, his, uh, on his trailer. And he said it was like 150 bucks or something like that. So mine came with it, bonus. Uh, this is cool, everyone's kind of like, wow, this is kind of a neat idea. This is a door to the trash can. That's the trash can on the inside. It's, it's on the cabinet, you just, on the, on the uh, counter, you just pull the, the, the top up, the trash in. So you can actually take out the trash from out here and it doesn't smell as bad inside. As I said before, speakers on the outside, right there, controlled by the stereo out there. And the cool thing is there's, there's control, so I can like turn the speakers off outside or turn the speakers off inside and just, just have music going on which side I want. Very cool. Power outlets, cable outlets. And then this, again, another excessive, like I don't really need it, but it's really nice to have. And this was like the, the top of the line. Full mini fridge, like this is the fridge, like this is like a fridge we have in our house with our drinks and stuff. And like, it's a full fridge, that's crazy. A uh, little pull out desk, table thing, sink, two burner stove, uh, cabinet space for your spices and whatnot, right? Like. It's gas powered, right? This hose comes out, comes underneath here. There's actually another outlet for this grill that came with it. So I can legitimately sit out here, cook everything right here. We have a stove, we have a sink, we have a grill, we have a fridge. I can, our entire meal can be cooked right here for the most part. Like, that is pretty awesome. We don't have to go inside, we don't have to track in dirt in and out, we have to like make the coach stink. It's, that, like I said, didn't really need it, but when we saw it, we're like, that's really nice. That's really nice. And then of course we were just in the bathroom. It has a separate door for the bathroom. So if you need to go to the restroom, you just walk right up here. You don't have to walk through the whole um, coach and track dirt and whatnot. Uh, and then ending it down here at the, at the back of the trailer is this little rack right here. This thing will hold 250 pounds. It was originally designed for mooses, for moose hunting. You put a moose back here. So it's 250 pounds, it, it pops down, you can put generators, I can put my dirt bike back there, whatever. And that concludes our tour of our Wildcat Max. Sierra was so sweet and she just went, walked all the way to the little store to get me a snow cone. What? Thank you. Oh, oh it's not hard. Thank you, that was so sweet of you. The flavor is rainbow. Cherry, lemon, or I'm guessing lime. Or green apple, it tastes like green apple. Try it. The apples are like, I can't they were like, cool. <laughs>
Chris got cherry, I think. Literally bring it me in the background. I'm just like. So the girls apparently forgot that we were camping <laughs> and they brought this special little, uh, what do you call this? It's called the Infinity Pro curler, I think. But I don't know. it looks awesome. Look at Sierra's hair. Dry curly. Yeah. Turn. That is cool. We might have to get one, Sierra. Yes. Kind of loosen the weight, uh, the curls. Okay, it's on. Sorry. So, like. So you in. put it in and there. Put it the side, the side where it says the side towards the. Oh it my! Like straightener. Gosh, that's awesome. That is so cool. Ooh, hot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it just has like perfect curls. <laughs> Super cute. All right, so we brought a bark box with us. It's gonna be that trailer's bark box. Whatever's in here is gonna stay in the trailer. Hopefully it's trailer friendly. And it looks like it's a movie theme. We've got a popcorn. <laughs> no squeaker, it's just a chew toy. How about it? What else we got? We got um, Bacon Hearts. Bar from Bark Box presents Bacon Hearts, a delicious love story. Now showing on your doorstep. It's uh, like heart treats, buggy treats. And we've got, oh, a fetch toy. So there it is. There's a squeaky oh. one. There's a squeaky one. And then we've got Nature's Bits with salmon. This is strawberries and sweet potatoes. We've had this one before. Different flavor, though. So you'll love those. And then lastly, we have some toasted coconut. Who didn't like coconut? Want to try coconut? There you go. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Little Bits. High in protein, chewy treat. No grains added. Great for training. He was yeah, like, just okay. give me something, give me a treat. Yeah, dog, you want some hearts? Let's get some hearts. All right, you turn now. Ooh, that's so good. I think you should try one. I'll try the salmon ones. <laughs> what do you think, babies? What do you think? <gasps> I, I throw this, but you're, you're tied down, so that's not going to work. <laughs> so Bryce got this remote control Iron Man for Christmas um, for my brother Austin. And we're finally breaking it out. It's charging right now. You put six double A's in the controller, then you plug this cord into the Iron Man. That's what charges the Iron Man. So uh, we'll let this charge for about 15 minutes and we'll take it for a spin. <laughs> you crashed him right away. Wow, and both, wing, both propellers fell off. <laughs> so yeah, that was a big fail. I don't understand. I, I hit forward and, they, and they, it, it just hit the ground. This is to go forward, and this is to turn. Okay. Set, set, go. Turn, turn. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, you gotta figure it out. Set, set, go. Go. Go, watch out for the poop. I thought he was, it was gonna crack, but then I did it, so then. Watch for the poop. Ooh. We got. We got piles and piles of donkey poop out here. Tons of donkey poop. <laughs> Get him! Come on! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we got a big play. I do four and a half. Okay. 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 Oh, you guys, dinner was amazing. Carne asada, steak, and just all kinds of goodness. Uh, and of course, as usual, too much food. We'll have leftovers for days, for sure. This is where I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. It's getting late, I'm getting tired, and uh, who knows what the night's gonna bring. And uh, well, realistically, it's 10 p.m., so I should end the vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Tap the eye in the sky right here. For one year ago, two years ago, three years ago, see what we were doing. Uh, and uh, quick synopsis: one year ago, Sierra and Tiffany got into a spring cleaning frenzy, and was just cleaning the house like crazy. Two years ago, we went to dinner with Max and Victoria, and uh, just kind of hung out with them. We got some pizza and some wings and whatnot. And of course, three years ago, uh, we've only had baby for a few months and we made the, the mistake of forgetting about her in her kennel for like, I don't know, five hours, something like that, something crazy. Um, so I was a little worried about coming home to a pile of poop. So check those out, all of them are in the card. You tap on the eye right here, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Dog on.